Hey guys, welcome to The Secret History, Living in Your Aquarium. Today we're looking at planaria, and I've actually, this tank always has a lot of planaria because I keep my panda loaches in it, and they eat planaria, which uh, is is one of the live foods that they eat. They, they really like to eat live foods, and they get rather skinny if they don't eat live foods, but you can see they're very happy, very plump, but I keep the planaria around in this tank so that they can eat it. Now, up here, we have some uh, transplants. I actually took two-day-old uh, fry from an angelfish upstairs and I have to move I'm moving from my house in a few days like two days so I really don't have a spot to grow them out so I put them in this tank um, just thinking okay well there aren't any fish that will eat them the panda loaches won't bug them at all however I was curious sort of about the planaria and the planaria sure enough are smelling them and seeking them out and uh, when you've got a critical mass of planaria they will seek out very very tiny fry and so I wanted to document this for once and for all because a lot of people seem to be skeptical that they will attack and eat a fry right there you can see one is clearly wrapping around a fry um, right there, wrapping around it. I don't know what they do to kill it necessarily, if it's just constriction or if they have some sort of, um, saliva or enzyme that breaks down, uh, the actual little fry, but these are larval stage fish very clearly. I mean, you can't even see eyes on them yet. They're basically just a yolk sac and, uh, that's about it, but these planaria definitely seem to wrap themselves around them, crush in their tail, and that, I would assume, renders their spinal cord uh, useless. You can see they've actually eaten about seven fry up here, and I think they're going to head down and eat these next ones. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to keep an eye on it and document it. This, this process isn't exactly... 100% clear because they seem to be uh, constricting and kind of crushing the the fry and then leaving just this kind of compressed little ball of fry like this one here uh, and then the other ones seem to move in and see now even the shrimp there's some baby shrimp uh, just for perspective that's a, a pretty young shrimp uh, but they're they're even interested in these little fry um but they seem to kill them and then kind of move on but then the other ones in the area seem to move in and they swarm the thing and pretty soon the fry is gone afterwards so i just find this kind of interesting but i wanted to share it with you guys so you can see that this does indeed happen here comes another one um and i don't know if they're just saving them for later um, but my guess would be it might be something like a spider where they can, they kill the, the food and then they, you know, process it, a spider bites it and then their enzymes digest it and then they wrap it up. But I'm wondering if planaria just kind of kill these things and then, um, come back later and there, there's some sort of process similar going on with the digestion outside the body. I'm not sure. Um, but this one's definitely changing directions really swiftly. And I, it seems like it's a very slow process. So if there were any parental fish around, there's no way it would be happening. Um, but I just wanted to document it. So I'm gonna, I'm, I won't spare, or I will spare you guys having to watch all of this, but the next time I see one moving in, uh, for a kill, so to speak, um, we'll, we'll make sure we get that on on video and uh, if you like this sort of info you like this sort of macro uh, videography photography and uh, nanotank subjects uh, 
feel free to subscribe, click that like button also. I know it's easy to forget, and a lot of people lately said, oh, I subscribed a couple years ago, but now it says I'm not subscribed anymore, and I totally forgot about your channel. So if that's you, uh, I'm going to say that um, the YouTube algorithm's uh, not a perfect thing, but I will allow it this once for you guys to uh, go ahead and click that subscribe and uh, click the bell on. And if you leave a comment, I guess that, that signals to them that you're more serious about wanting to maintain uh, your subscription. And if you're feeling real squirrely, you can actually uh, fund some of this and fund the content coming out on this channel by either checking out the Patreon or joining the channel on YouTube itself for as little as $1.99 a month, which includes... A lot of my scientific uh, sources and papers and uh, research work uh, laid out in the community tab for those of you who want to follow up on videos that I do or uh, do a deeper dive or maybe you have research going on and it's of use to you. So just given that little public service announcement um, slash shameless self-promotion as we watch the planaria ever so slowly uh, circle the drain that is life of uh, these poor little angel fish larvae.